YouTube, how's everybody doing? This is Speed Freak 2010 here, and welcome back to yet another Grand Theft Auto 5 vehicle customization video. <clears throat> so, folks, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the 10F, Obey 10F. This car came out on October the 6th, 2022, as part of the Criminals Enterprise update, and you can find it on Legendary Motorsports here for around $1,675,000. It's in the sports car class and is primarily based off of the second generation Audi R8 supercar, or specifically the, the 2015 to 2023 model years. Unlike its previous counterpart, the 9F, as well as its uh, real life counterpart, the Audi R8, the 10F here is actually rear wheel drive instead of all wheel drive. And also, if you want to know how this car performs, just head on over to Breffy1322 on YouTube to see how it performs in terms of lap times and in terms of top speed. But the lowdown is, it's a pretty balanced car. You got good speed and good traction and a good top speed for what it is. Also, this car also has a wide body variant that will uh, cost you $575,000 on top of the $1,675,000 price tag. So either you, if you go with the normal one like I have myself or you decide to upgrade, you're already looking at a $2 million sports car. So without any further delay, let's get right into it. <laughs> this car has got a bit of customization. Again, head on over to Buffy1322 if you want to see how this car handles, how you want to see both uh, cars handle. So anyway, this was one of the last uh, cars to be drip fed in terms of the Criminal Enterprise update. Because that came out previous summer in 2022 and this came out in October. I believe this was also, uh, I think it was the first um, of the first two cars during the Halloween uh Halloween a uh, week cuz the other one was the uh Ubermott Reinhardt which is right at which is going to be the video right after this one so anyway so I'm going to go with the bumper delete uh for now to show out the different uh uh exhaust options for this one that way you guys have a better view of it so yeah, honestly, the 10F is a uh, car that's been requested by a lot of people for, like, however long. Since, uh, the, I want to say the original Audi, the new uh, generation Audi R8 originally came out in 2015. And it's been clamoring for a lot and stuff, so, yeah. Wait, chrome turbo? Yeah. Yeah, chrome turbo exhaust. Twin turbo, this thing. Now let's go back to the bumper, front bumpers. I'm gonna go with the uh, rear diffuser. So yeah, different versions. These and uh, no, focus diffuser. Now I'm gonna go with the racing diffuser. And you have various different ones in forged carbon. So basically you have different versions of that and different forms of carbon fiber. That is the exhaust grill. Okay. Okay, so the grill. Oh, uh, this one you can uh there are different versions. I think this is the closest one if you want to go for like a uh I think sort of a facelift. If you want to get as close to the the front end of it, I believe. And you have those that are uh racing spec. And then you have the rest of these, which I'm gonna be honest is a bit too much for me for the street build I'm going for. And you have different hood types. You have a ridge line set, you have a hood vent set, which is probably what I'm gonna go for. Yeah, definitely. And you have these. Or do I wanna go with a race hood? Okay, I'm t okay. When I was looking at the customization, I'm torn between the race hood and this one. Now I'm gonna go with the race hood. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the race hood. Hey, okay, so you have no. Now nah, I'm gonna. I'll mess with the lights later. 
So you have uh, different liveries. You have white stripes here. You have black stripes. You have the German tricolor with the orange, red, and black. You have white pinstripes that go across the uh, body lines of the car. You have them in red. You have the Kasama right here. So have these spots, sponsor bash. Uh, I don't know which uh, livery this is. Yeah, the Jacko Racing, which is, I believe is an Audi, an actual Audi racing livery. You have the German Motorsport, and then you have the Half Camo. So I'm not going to uh, do any of these. You have different mirrors. You have primary, carbon, and then forged carbon. Uh, one thing, the secondary paint job colors, uh, the uh, secondary paint job as well as the brake calipers. And then you have different uh, plates, different colored plates. I'll come back to I'll come back to the respray uh, last. You have uh, different roof antennas right here, and no, no, I'm not gonna go with the roofs. And you have different t different kinds of roof styles. You have a full carbon roof. You have inset roof styles and you have ridge line roof styles. And you got different side panels here. And, and I'm going to go with the carbon. I'm going to go with the carbon side panels. You have various different skirts. Uh, hold on a second. No, I'll go with carbon to, front, to match the front and the rear diffuser. And you have these with different shark fins here in different flavors. Now we get to one of my favorite parts. This car actually has a active spoiler. So whenever you hit the uh, gas, when you hit the certain speed, the rear spoiler would actually activate. Um, at the moment, I don't know if it uh, adds any traction due to the traction bar being currently maxed out. But you have various different uh, versions right here. Yeah, ducktail, extreme ducktail. You have a street street spoiler style. Yeah, the aftermarket spoiler, which reminds me of the uh, Audi R8 GT. Not the uh, new one, but the uh, older one, because they started coming out with this kind of spoiler. And you have various different racing spoilers, such as even this that you can find on the Dink Adjuster. And then you have the uh, suspension. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna give it a street suspension just to lower just a tiny bit. You have a racing transmission, and since I got turbo charges on this thing, I'm going for the turbos on this thing. Uh, wheels, I'm gonna come back to these a bit last, but first let's respray the car. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what car I'm gonna go, but I'm gonna go with the metallic color. I think I'm gonna go with probably like a silverish slash quote unquote Nardo Gray. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go with a black you know what I'm gonna go with a black steel metallic with a I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna keep it as is. The secondary color as I said is for the secondary paint jobs the secondary body parts including the uh brake calipers. So I'm gonna spray them red. I'm gonna spray them metallic red, and the trim color is the interior. So I'm gonna keep that. So I'm gonna uh, spray it uh, black steel to keep with the uh, paint job, the master paint job, and the crew room goes right in front of the doors. So yeah. After this, I got everything. Let me do the limbo, limo window tint, and last thing, the wheels. First thing, do bulletproof tires, and do wheel type. Which one do I want? Which ones do I want to do? I 
I think trying to find the uh I think finding the uh wheel f the right wheel for this is pretty I wouldn't say it's difficult I would say probably the paint job is probably in my opinion the most difficult because you have so many options to do but I don't know I'm gonna do uh, ice storms, a track wheel. I like the way those look on here. Let's see what the rest of these look like. Or do I want to? Ooh. Or do I want to do high five and super lux? No, no, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna keep them. Uh, and I'm gonna get the ice storms. Do I want to do black steel wheels? Hmm. Nah, I'm gonna keep them alloyed for now, and that's basically it. Now that's left, and this is I think this is gonna be it. So, yep, this is gonna do it for here. Next up is gonna be the Uber Mike Reinhardt to my to my right. So leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you are new. Feel free to shoot me a comment in the comment section below. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you're more than welcome to do so, if you wish. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, wherever you are. Later.